Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Recently, the words of the US Secretary of Commerce have caused quite a stir internationally. What did he say? He said, it is a stupid job to stop China from developing semiconductors. When this was said, many people were stunned, thinking, why did the US Secretary of Commerce suddenly say this? Isn't he afraid of offending his teammates? In fact, there is a profound truth behind this. First of all, what is a semiconductor? Semiconductor is a key component that is indispensable in mobile phones, computers, TVs, and other high-tech devices. It is like the heart in the human body. Without it, these devices can't live. Today's life is inseparable from semiconductors. People use smartphones, watch smart TVs, drive smart cars, and those smart home devices that make life more convenient. Which one is not supported by semiconductors? As the world's largest manufacturer and consumer of electronic products, China has a huge demand for semiconductors. China not only wants to use semiconductors, but also wants to make semiconductors by itself. Why? Because if you make it yourself, you don't have to always look at other people's faces, and don't have to worry about others choking China's neck. It is futile to stop China from developing semiconductors. Why did the US Secretary of Commerce say that it is stupid to stop China from developing semiconductors? We have to look at it from several aspects. First, China is determined to develop semiconductors. China knows that semiconductors are the key technology of the future and the strategic cornerstone of the country. Therefore, the Chinese government has invested a lot of manpower, material resources and financial resources in the semiconductor industry to make this industry a success. This determination cannot be shaken by a few words from others. Second, China has a huge market and demand. China has a population of more than 1.4 billion and is one of the largest consumer markets in the world. With so many people and so many devices, the demand for semiconductors is endless. Even if the United States wants to stop it, it cannot stop the demand of the Chinese market. Third, the semiconductor industry is a global industry. The manufacture of semiconductors requires resources and technologies from all over the world. In the process of developing the semiconductor industry, China is also actively cooperating with countries around the world to learn from others' advanced technologies and improve its manufacturing capabilities. This kind of global cooperation is in line with the trend of world development and cannot be stopped. Therefore, it makes sense that the US Secretary of Commerce said that it is futile to stop China from developing semiconductors. Because China's conditions for developing semiconductors are ripe and its determination is firm, others cannot stop it even if they want to. It is foolish to stop China from developing semiconductors. Why is it foolish to stop China from developing semiconductors? Let's analyze it from several aspects. First, Stopping China from developing semiconductors will harm global interests. The semiconductor industry is a global industry, and companies from all countries have their own interests in this industry. If the United States stops China from developing semiconductors, it will break this global interest pattern and trigger a trade war and a technology war. In this way, companies from all countries will suffer losses and the global economy will also be affected. Second, stopping China from developing semiconductors will weaken the competitiveness of the United States. China is one of the United States' important competitors in the semiconductor field. If the United States stops China from developing semiconductors, it will make China stagnate in this field. However, technology is constantly developing, and if China stagnates, the United States cannot guarantee that it will always be ahead. Moreover, China still has a huge market and demand. If American companies cannot enter the Chinese market, they will lose many opportunities and interests. In this way, 
the competitiveness of the United States will be weakened. Third, stopping China from developing semiconductors will go against the development trend of the world. The world today is a globalized world and a cooperative world. All countries are actively seeking cooperation and development to jointly respond to global challenges. If the United States prevents China from developing semiconductors, it will go against the development trend of the world and arouse the disgust and criticism of the international community. Therefore, the US Secretary of Commerce said that it is foolish to prevent China from developing semiconductors, which is profoundly reasonable. Because preventing China from developing semiconductors will not only harm global interests, but also weaken the competitiveness of the United States, and will go against the development trend of the world. China's development of semiconductors is good for the world. In fact, China's development of semiconductors is a good thing for the world. Because China has developed the semiconductor industry, it can provide more semiconductor products and services to the world. In this way, companies in various countries can benefit from China's development, and the global economy can also be promoted. Moreover, China's development of the semiconductor industry can also promote scientific and technological progress and innovation. Semiconductors are a high-tech field that requires continuous research and development and innovation. In the process of developing the semiconductor industry, China is also actively investing in research and development and innovation and has contributed to the world's scientific and technological progress. Besides, China's development of the semiconductor industry can also promote global cooperation and exchanges. The semiconductor industry is a global industry that requires cooperation and exchanges among countries. In the process of developing the semiconductor industry, China is also actively cooperating and communicating with countries around the world to jointly promote the development of this industry. It is futile and stupid to stop China from developing semiconductors. In general, it makes sense that the US Secretary of Commerce said that stopping China from developing semiconductors is a stupid job. Because China's conditions for developing semiconductors are ripe and its determination is firm, stopping China from developing semiconductors is futile and stupid. China's development of semiconductors is a good thing for the world. Therefore, we should see the positive aspects and positive impact of China's development of semiconductors, rather than blindly stopping and suppressing it. Only when countries cooperate with each other and develop together can they promote the progress and prosperity of the world. I hope that the United States and other countries can understand this truth and work with China to promote the development of the semiconductor industry and contribute to the world's scientific and technological progress and economic prosperity.